Hey there folks, it's Brooks with Character Design Forge. I hope that you're doing well. In this video, we aren't talking about this or this, we're talking about this that's looming over and defining a lot of things in the world right now. And before you click away because you're rightfully tired of hearing about it, I wanna actually help us as creative people because something specific and unexpected is either happening to you or is going to soon. We've talked a lot before in these two videos specifically in the past, both about the concept of burnout and how it isn't just about being so tired that you don't want to do anything, but that it's also a result of you being depleted of energy that's usually reserved for empathy. Now, burnout is a state that medical professionals and teachers go through, as well as those in creative fields because their work involves interacting on this empathetic level with others. Now, this tank that dries up can be refilled, but you need to put back in more than you take out or you get burnt out. We also talked about how burnout can come from working hard in a direction, doing the same things over and over, and not having a finish line or goal that you're working towards. And as soon as you can't see that direction anymore, you might say, what's the point of me doing this? So I bring this subject of burnout up because if I can be self-congratulatory for a second, which I, I never really do, I think that I work really hard. I'm very persistent and productive. And to me, I really enjoy working. Time spent in my office here is good time. And as an introverted, for the most part, ambivert, I suppose, if you said, hey, don't leave your house for a month, that sounds like a really good idea, right? More time to work on anything. And if you're watching this going, this whole isolation thing, staying home, it's been doing wonders for my creative output, I would say stick with this because I was right there with you. Now, at least as far as folks in the States, uh, we started probably a week earlier than everyone else isolating themselves, my wife and I, uh, when there were really only rumblings of the severity of this situation. It was just starting to get reported here. We locked down, partially because Tay, my wife, has been doing really good recently, but I would absolutely qualify her as immunocompromised. So better safe than sorry. We locked down a week before our gym sent out an email saying, due to the severity of the situation, we have closed the daycare portion of the gym. Super underreaction, they're all the way closed now. Now, since we work from home, this isn't as big of a change as it is for most people, but I go to the grocery store once a week, and as soon as I get home, I wipe down every item, throw my clothes in the washing machine, and shower, not taking any chances. My wife says that I say the word grocery weird. I don't know if you guys say it any different. We leave the house for walks in areas where we can't see other people, not as often as we should, and that's about it. For the first two weeks, yeah, this was ideal for me. I was cranking work out. Tay was not handling it well on the other end of the spectrum, productivity-wise, which, fine, that's there's, there's more important things than our productivity, especially right now. Uh, I saw people online saying, I can't make anything in this environment right now. Understandable, I get where they're coming from. Uh, I was still cranking work out myself. New Animal Crossing comes out, it's incredible. I don't have to show you guys my Animal Crossing street cred. It goes deep, it's my favorite series. It does wonders for counteracting the isolation feelings. Last week, my output was still pretty high, not what I wanted it to be for any work that was for me, work for the channel, like that video last week took 25 hours to make, uh, any Biko's backpack art, but work that other people asked me to do, client work, easy to do. And you know what? I can pinpoint the moment of realizing that I had any kind of burnout. So we've been playing games with friends over video calls, friends that we would normally be hanging out with in person, and we're playing Quiplash, which is just a fun game where you make stupid jokes, we all have our variations and ways that we make it fun for our group of friends, and sometimes the questions that the game gives you are like ripe for a good joke, other times it's kind of forced, but I was sitting there with my timer going down to put in my answers, and I realized I can't remember or think outside of this whole situation for the past month. And that probably sounds funny because I've been able to carry on a lot of the same routine, plenty of external input, amazing new game. And what I meant was I couldn't mentally move past this looming thing creatively. And listen, it takes a, a modicum of creative energy, the, the tiniest bit to come up with a joke to make your friends laugh. And even then in that context of non-drawing related creativity, as, as low stakes as it was, I realized, oh, this is that burnout feeling. The problems that we had before all of this haven't gone away. They're kind of like an itchy tag in the back of your shirt. Instead of just irritating you a little bit, this situation is like a 400 pound weight pressing that tag into the back of your neck. And as someone that is not neurotypical, that's been dealing with at least professionally some struggles for the last few months as far as this channel is concerned, but still pushing myself to output new stuff every week as that timer goes down, new art every month for the backpack as the timer goes down, 
yesterday was a burnout day for me. And today I can make stuff a little bit, at least this video and an illustration. I tend to recharge pretty quickly. But burnout is a little like a sports injury. At the very least, you need to keep weight off of it and be conscious of it so that you don't make it worse. At its worst, you need to be laid up for months. Uh, some people come off of crunch time on projects and it takes them months or years to recover because they've gone into the negatives on that creative tank. So if you're in an area of the world where you're doing what you're supposed to right now and stopping the spread of this thing by isolating yourself, again, like the title of this video, if you aren't going through burnout already, you're going to. And that's because your routine is in shambles, uh, you're in the same four walls, the looming dread and anxiety, and most likely a lack of the things that usually recharge you that you can't experience right now. So I have some ideas for both camps, those who are burnt out and those who aren't yet. And if you're like me a week ago, thinking that this is an ideal situation that you can do anything, be careful. Keep your weight off of the strained muscle, even if you don't recognize it as strained yet. Do as much as you can to keep a good routine and restore yourself. Spend time in nature, spend time off of the internet or checking the news, exercise, play board games or play social games with your friends over a video call, and pace yourself. Get real rest like we talked about in the burnout video, not fake rest. And if you are burnt out or you feel like this whole situation has paralyzed you and you haven't been able to write one paragraph or sculpt one head or animate a frame since this all started going down, the first most important thing you can do is not to get upset or frustrated or disappointed with yourself because then you're just falling short of your own expectations, which gets you nowhere. No comparing yourself to people who are able to thrive in isolation. Don't pay any mind to the tweets that say that Shakespeare wrote Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, all in isolation. Be okay with the fact that you will have a lower output, at least for now. Here's an exercise that's been helpful for me with drawing, and feel free to adopt it in any other creative profession. Set a timer for 10 minutes with the blank page or tablet in front of you. And start drawing, and don't let your pencil come off of the page for any longer than a few seconds. And in 10 minutes, when the timer dings, that is your result. That's the achievement that you gained, was the timer going off. Not what you drew, whether or not it was good, if it was just a scribble, if it wasn't your best. The important thing is that you did that today. And tomorrow, you'll do it again. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. The other most important thing is to recognize what is important. I sincerely hope that you're doing well, that we can all come through this, and that you're enjoying Animal Crossing New Horizons on your Nintendo Switch. One exciting thing that Tay was able to spruce up last week, if you go to brooksegglestoncom shop, there are a few new things there, mainly consolidating some stuff that was all over the place before, like the Parcel comic, it's available directly from me now. Uh, we also have some standalone things like the video critique, same as you'd get through Patreon, but since those are first come, first serve, there's often a queue, and if you want to jump the queue or simply aren't interested in Patreon, that's there. Also, one-on-one -on -one mentoring calls used to be a big email process, now they're just there. Uh, one thing that's about to be added is Animal Crossing commissions, where you can commission me to draw your favorite villager, your player character, your original character as a villager, so that should be up tomorrow, hopefully. You can also catch up on previous months of Biko's Backpack, getting them on patreon.com slash bageldenizen is still the best way to do so, and a new month is getting revealed tomorrow, to which I say uh, the party has arrived. Thank you so much for watching, please stay safe my friends, and have fun if and when you're creating. Last year I made a video on April 1st in addition to my main video for that week. Last year I also felt confident that almost any video I made if it was interesting to my audience would make it to them. I don't feel that way right now, especially as more people check the homepage than their subscription box these days. If I do have the capacity to make a video for tomorrow, it will likely be something light and Animal Crossing related, no real fooling. If you're interested in that, please make sure that the notification bell for this channel is turned on.